Hello everybody, Dapper David here and welcome to a Euro Truck Simulator 2 video. And this is my first Euro Truck Simulator video on this channel. And it's the first of hopefully a series where we'll be starting in Aberdeen, going all the way through the west of Scotland, west of, well the northwest of England into Wales, we've never been to Wales before in this account, um, Swansea, in Cumbria, into Plymouth, through Southampton, Dover, across to Cali, and then I'm going to just try and stay as um, west as possible, go through Paris, or go through towns and such, and go through Dijon, and Lyon, um, Turin, Milan, Venice, whatever that is pronounced. Prague, Vienna, Bratislava, Brno, probably go into Prague before going over to there, up to Poznan, to there, into Berlin, out to Rostock, there, there, into Hamburg, possibly instead of there, um, through Bremen, um, up into Groningen, over to Amsterdam, and then hopefully back up to Newcastle, or possibly might go to the Europort and head over to Felixstowe, or even over near Grimsby, and just head up through this road back to Aberdeen. Hopefully we're going to do as much of it with jobs as possible. Um, so yeah, this is the truck that I'll be using for most of it. The aim is to upgrade the chassis at the end of it. Um, well then, hopefully by the end of it we'll have enough money to buy a new truck um, for me and the work we could have this one or even a new one for a work uh, and get a garage as well. So we'll just have a look and see first of all what jobs are available. Here we're on the Truckers MP um, multiplayer server one. So I know a few of the roads get quite busy on this. Um, we're starting off on this, but we might end up doing some in single player. It might make it a little bit easier. So the first job I'm going to take is the average Manchester job. Because although it goes through Edinburgh instead of Glasgow, um, it'll take us into Manchester and then we can go down to Car uh, Swansea and Cardiff from there quite easily. Um, I believe that's probably the best job to have had. Yeah, all the others kind of go the wrong way. Unless I go out to Glasgow, but I've broken that quite a few times, so... We'll go here. Some of this video might be a time-lapse. I'm going to try and fit the whole journey into Manchester in them. So if some of it's a time lapse, that's probably the best way to fit it. Um, I'll try not to do too many jump cuts. I'll probably just do those if I have a massive crash or something. Which is quite likely. I'm not very good at it, to be honest. take the roller to oh the bouncy roller apparently I have got advanced puppies so there we go oops always hit the wrong button so close to each other. <laughs> That's correct. Just get recentered and away we go. So 
so yeah, we'll take this eight tons worth of um, rollers to Manchester. friend be too. So 354 miles. I said 8 hours and 4 minutes, which um, in game time that's roughly about 40 minutes. There are there minutes. Because every hour in game time is about 5 minutes. five seconds so try not to speak too much. It is quite tempting when you're just leaving the city to the cruise control not to run into as much. But yeah this is the um, Scania S series. It's um, the 410S I believe. But yeah, this is hopefully going to be one of many ETS videos to come in the future. Uh, most of them, I'll try and make as many of them as possible on the Trippers MP server. Uh, but yeah, if you like what you're seeing so far, um, leave a like in the video and it lets me know that you're actually enjoying it. If you want anything to change, if you leave a comment, um, that would be So we'll head on out. I think we might time lapse until we're around about Edinburgh. Now. And that'll be a good point to resume and see how progress is going. Otherwise, it'll be brought back into something interesting. But until then.
Okay. But there is a couple of other things that I want to discuss during this video. Um, there's obviously not much to talk about in the channel at the moment due to it being a dead channel. Um, however, there is the possibility. Well, there's an option. I might leave it in the cards up at the top, the little icon, um, whether you want me to start ETS2 fresh, completely new profile scratch or if you just want me to continue with this profile which would mean obviously we've got the wagon we've got the trailer which i don't have in the flatbeds in glasgow but um we've got that stuff and we've obviously got our bank balance at the moment and all our perks um so i'm going to leave it up to the viewers to decide that um because obviously if you just want me to start fresh i might as well i'm not going to exactly lose much from it. Um, so yeah, hopefully the channel's going to see a lot more videos in the future, um, some your truck simulator, farming simulator, um, hopefully, and some Minecraft. Um, they're all games that I'm hoping to publish videos on. And obviously you can watch which ones you like and ditch which ones you don't like. For example, if you like your truck simulator but you don't like Minecraft, watch your truck simulator. But yeah, I'm going to start off with the your truck simulator series. I might make a point of finishing this before I start any other games on the channel. Um, just because it kind of makes sense to make sure at least one is starting off properly. But yeah, if you if you like the video, um, remember to give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you want to see the rest of the series, um, and share the video to any of your friends that you think will like. Um, just never know who's been right up their street. Here, that's one of the big service stations, which I've not been in yet. Been quite a lot. Ah, here's the junction to Edinburgh up here. But yeah, obviously the starting anew would have the possibility of just following the journey along the way to get into a point similar to this. And it would leave a lot more options open. I have got the heavy cargo DLC and the special transport DLC, which obviously you can't do came out of it, you can't do special transport in multiplayer for like, partially obvious reasons. I'm assuming it's because the roads have to be blocked up and sometimes the server can be so full that it can be quite difficult, especially if more than one person wants to do special transport at the same time. I don't know if they'll do what they've done before and make a, a special transport um, server specifically for it could be a thing of the future. Because um, like the Pro One server exists and stuff like that, so it's all a possibility. The one thing that I did wish was um, implemented in multiplayer was custom skins for the trucks. Because um, they obviously you could have company logos. But that's also something that I think it would be good if SCS implemented into the game. Like you could add your right to your truck um, and have it like a company interesting to see how that would work. I'm okay to reveal that. Um, I'd actually already filmed a trip. Um, I s ended up in Glasgow Garage before. Um, I recorded a video going from Glasgow all the way to Swansea. But what happened was um, I ended up I just, I ended up recording without the mic connected, so it was just a video with game sounds and CB radios all over the map. Um, so I decided that I was not going to, well I'm still a bit undecided to be honest, I might publish it as a time lapse, uh, if I can find the right 
right music for it. That's the thing about town lines, it's quite difficult to find the right music for them. So we're coming up here. On to the M14, M74. Why does it say the M14? That's ages ago. around still. The thing about multiplayer is you can be on a server with like 3,000 odd people and not bump into any of them. Because usually they spend most of their time in here. Like mainland Europe. And I suppose it is like, you know, your truck simulator, so that is understandable. But, um, yeah, it's amazing go into like ports and stuff, especially in Europort and Kalu, they're extremely busy most of the time. And like the minute you get the ferry across before it's even finished loading, you all get this like C B radio chatter most of the time whenever you get into one of them. And you're just flooded with loads of people. To avoid that problem, quite often play on server two, simulation two. Um it kind of helps. But still, these are the most crowded areas. Um, there was one time actually, um, it was the first time I came on multiplayer. Uh, I spawned in in Steinbra, um, up at Glasgow, and um, there was loads of people. It looked like they were about to start a massive combo thing. Um, I'm not sure what was happening because it was quite new to the game. And um, I got lost on the way out. I went up to the barricade instead of actually going away and um, I just felt like such an Egypt. But yeah, I think it might be a good time, 200 miles left to go, it might be a good time to start another time lapse.
And here we are again. 62 minutes left to go. Not too far. About 7-ish minutes, possibly. Not too long at all. So, we're getting quite close to Manchester. It's extremely easy to speed in this game, especially in multiplayer. Because in single player, you've kind of got to acknowledge that there'll be police cars about, and when they catch you speed, by God, do they flee. I mean, the speed cameras, they warn you when they're coming. On this game, every single time. Um, and even when they do think it's not as offensive as when the police cars catch you. I think the biggest fine I got for the police car was when I literally just got into the town and it slowed down. And I didn't want to slow down too sharply so it didn't run into the back of me. And I ended up doing, I think I was doing 40 in the 30 zone. And it was still slowed down and it was like 1076 pounds or something like that. Ridiculous. It is amazing. I'm not sure if that's realistic or not. Um, I didn't think they could catch you like speeding as such when they were moving. I suppose it could be ridiculous like our speeds are moving here. Yeah. It'll be busy in Manchester. The big one would be very good is if SCS brought out official DLC for Britain, which added a lot more detail. Because obviously there's speed with rounds and there's um, the Italian. There's not been anything for Russia. I mean, it's not exactly great. I mean, in Scotland, you've got three places to go to, which is not exactly a great choice. Let's come off the mark. As Manchester creeps closer and closer. How it went down one of these roads and all it did was go on the side with an external contract. So what I ended up having was I ended up taking the external contract off and I had to get transported to um, I had to get transported to the garage. And um, well at the time I was in travelling to Cardiff. So I ended up being Thanks. 
stretch of water. Oh, it's just one more look. Sorry, it's not far. I'll check the lights and see how it plays. Either the lights are tuned back to record or stuff. So yeah, the company is called, well, it's not called that in the actual menu, but I've called it DD Logistics for Dapper DD Logistics. I think it's quite okay name. see my terrible parking first time and obviously if you're ever there service and you see my parking feel to get It's a bit frustrating if you get that, especially when it's all right. Which does happen quite a bit on the first one. Last. Here's the summary. Lovely 17 pounds per And well, quite a bit of experience in that one, but I don't need to make it. So that takes us up to what? Pretty much halfway. Um, into level 12. 
not like it at all. So that's all for today. Until next time, I'll see you again very soon. Bye for now.